Good morning, my awesome friends, from a very overcast day in the garden mood. This is the fourth time I'm doing this video. It's so funny. First, I choked, and I couldn't stop choking halfway through. And the second video that I did, the Hardy Dars had a party on my house roof, and now we are on the third to try. So let's hope we get it right. So for today's video, we are going to use things we find around our house. So lying on my desk was my glasses case with really interesting texture on it. And I thought, yeah, why not give that a try? So taking a piece of wide tape, this is 20 centimeter wide tape that I cut into strips because I don't really want any joins. And using your nail buff, which I seem to have lost, hold tightly and you can buff your pattern. How cool is that? It kind of looks like fish scales. So to add a little bit of interest, you can leave it like that, but I want it to pop a bit more. Taking my ruler and my dot tool, I drew some lines. Now you can actually put the tape onto the tag first and then draw the lines. It really doesn't matter, but I am just going to draw the lines and you can do the whole thing or just a part of it. Okay, I'm really not going to draw 100 lines for you, but just so you can see how you can add a bit of interest with things you find around your house. I'm going to put this onto your tag for you. Let's see if I can get the backing off. There we go. Remember, I like instant gratification goal. Yeah, I'm gonna like things to be quick and easy. So we're just going to fold the excess to the back. There you go. So we don't waste. There you go. Only a little strip of tape needed to finish that off. And I have a piece of waste. The interesting thing with this is that you don't crumple your tape when you're doing this technique. You keep your tape smooth so that the pattern can transfer well. Um, so please keep that in mind. Do not crumple your tape when doing this technique. Okay. Once again, use your paper pencil to smooth around the edge. There you go. And... Oh, there comes the sun. Peeked out from behind the cloud just for a moment. Unsorted. Didn't cut that through properly. I'm struggling to see with this light. There you go. stuck on my fingers. There you go. Now the interesting thing you must bear in mind when doing transferring patterns and using the buff is once you've inked it with your fat sharpie, you know my favorite fat sharpie, once you've inked it you need to rub the ink off and not buff it off. So Remember, we've buffed the pattern on, and then if you buff it with the nail buff, you're actually buffing the pattern off, if that makes sense. So to keep your pattern, I'm quickly going to show you. Ink it. And you can see my 
shop is very purple remember we don't worry about that because once you are finished and you've rubbed it and buffed it it looks black so it's not to worry about the purple shoppy so there you go and then you can see the pattern there what you can do on, th on this tag i drew the lines and on this tag i just went around some of the little squares that showed Now, if I buff this, and I'm going to buff half, and I'm going to rub half, you'll see what I mean. Okay, and then I'm going to rub half. I want you to see the difference. Okay, can you see? I buffed the pattern away. So remember, if you are transferring a pattern onto your tape, with the nail buff, do not use the nail buff afterwards to rub the ink off because it'll remove your pattern. So I hope you enjoyed that. And these were using, they were all using my um, glasses case, but you can try using your wooden table. Um, I have a tissue box here that I used. You can transfer patterns using Punchinella. Um, I hope you have fun and you give it a try and please comment here on my YouTube channel. I really love it if you'd follow me and uh, share your tags in the Facebook group Tape a Tag. Looking forward to next week. Have a lovely day.